The Memorial Day holiday can turn tragic for people that do not know or practice water safety. Matt Ostad is live along the San Joaquin River with the Fresno Fire Department today to help remind us of things to do to stay safe on and near the water. Hello, Matt. Well, George, here is a perfect example of a typical outing where you never expect anything to go on. You might want to call this breaking news because we're waiting for the rescue boat to come back. They're picking up two people in a boat that just capsized here on the river. Just to give you an idea of how swift the current is, and it's Captain Dom Jewel, and they were basically a normal day out. They get caught, their boat goes over, and they're in the current, and they're moving, yelling for help. That's right, Matt. We were just standing here while you were doing your uh, live feed a moment ago, and we thought we heard something, so we had the boat uh, go down and take a quick look, and sure enough, we came across uh, two victims in the water and uh, in a capsized boat. So he's just, he extricated them from the water, and he's going to be bringing them back here. We're going to evaluate them, check them out. They seem to be okay, but luckily we were here. It's very interesting. But that's just it. Nine times out of ten, there won't be a news crew and the rescue boat parked where you are, so you need to practice some basic safety tips on the water. Right, and as I mentioned earlier, that's one of the things we see. We see people, I, I mentioned swimming ability. Also, if you're going to be trying to use any kind of watercraft, keep in mind this is a wild river, and there's currents, there's, there's underwater obstructions, there's a lot, of, a lot of hazards out here. You need, a, you need some kind of a safe craft. Don't try to get out here in a little uh, pool, pool toy or anything that's not designed for it. And if you don't have the ability to operate a canoe or a kayak in this type of water, Please don't do it because you're, you're almost guaranteed to end up in the water. This water is moving a lot faster than it looks. And something else, too, just in the conversation you had with us when we first got here, you guys were out doing some training here a few weeks ago, and this river looks completely different than it did just a few weeks ago. Yeah, exactly. We, we come down here periodically to check the river, and uh, less than two weeks ago we were down here, and it's probably risen 10 feet since then. And the water is ice cold. Hopefully when these uh, guys in the boat, hopefully they're wearing their, their safety jackets. And that's important. you got to wear safety. And it's not just the river. If the kids are young, keep them in floaties. Keep them in a safety jacket in the backyard pool. Exactly. Always have children that don't have a very, very strong swimming ability in some type of flotation device like the floaties and stuff like that. Um, they can go under. Even a small amount of water inhaled into the lungs can be a very uh, serious medical condition. All right, well, George, we're going to wait for the boat to come back and uh, just double check on these two. But again, breaking news from the river. That's how fast your day can change. They were just out doing a little fishing. Boat tips over. The rescue boat was here for them. You might not be so lucky. So please be safe this holiday weekend. Back to you. All right, unfortunately, that's just a good example of what you need to look out for. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. We'll keep tabs on that situation out there.